the bad guys and save him more than your bacon on a daily basis. Yeah. We are superheroes, aren't we, all of us? Yeah. There we are. Uh, coming up tonight, you can see more of this. Rylan, I'm not being funny with you in the house, mate, but can you please shut up? <laughs> Find out what is going on here. It's a really good book. Do you know that like, you don't want to close, but you know you can't restart the book because the pages have already been burned. Oh. <laughs> We'll be revealing all about another massive twist. Wants to see one of the four housemates facing eviction leave tonight. bit more. Uh, before we get to all of that, let's meet tonight. Shh. It's Kareem. It's not Gracie tonight for a change. Uh, right, let's meet tonight's panel. First up tonight is a TV presenter who is known throughout the land as someone who can handle up to six balls at a time. As host of the Nashville Lottery Draws, it's the lovely Kate Edmondson. housemate who dramatically took a hundred thousand pounds from his series being described, being described by his fellow housemates as the truest strongest best man we've got which looking at the lads in our office is uh, sadly the same way we describe, describe rylan uh, it's the lovely Liam McGough. <laughs> Pupil of Grangehill and one of Roland's best oh, yeah. mates. Yeah! Now, if this means nothing to you, then shame on you because you grew up in the wrong decade and we grew up yeah. in the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness he just said yes to us tonight. It's Zamo, a.k.a. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what I'm more excited about. Zamo! <laughs> going on? Okay, should we talk about tonight's show? Yeah! Let's talk about tonight's show. Okay, let's start with the twins. Uh, so, the wasp in the treehouse, Lee, <laughs> was this the, the highest point of the series so far? That was top banana. I mean, what was all this about? <laughs> The next Jedwood, aren't they? Uh, you know, they're going to come out of here. Uh, the, the squeals are what uh, I love. It was, it was comical watching it. I was like, what is... I mean, they're not... I, I want them out anyway, but watching tonight, I'm just like, what are they doing? Really? Yeah, Do yeah, yeah. yeah. I did like them. Yeah. Up until... Yeah. I'm not, as it's gone on, I've, they're just... The bickering and the... I'm just like, oh, no, you're boring now. Go. Yeah. So you're over them. You're over them. You what? You're over them. Oh, absolutely. I did like them over them completely now. Kate, I know you are new to the panel, but yeah. you do not need to raise your hand. Well, I wanted no, to I'm this show. Like, stop. I'm exactly the same when I go near a wasp, though, so I kind of related to them a little bit. See, my hair is in my hair every time I get near a wasp. So do I you squeal of... like that, though? A bit higher, but yeah. <laughs> Yay! Um, OK, we saw, a, um, we saw a split tonight in the twins, though, didn't we? Because yeah. Jack is like, I want to stay. And Joe's like, oh, I'm bored, I want to go, I've had enough. Um, Liam, it's only a few days, so surely they should be kind of going for it, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think a, a, a lot of the time, uh, especially in my series, I had also a twin, Sam and Amanda, and, yeah. and, and they were one housemate as well. And I think towards the end, what happens is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! What do, you, what do you mean you can't remember? <laughs> so, anyway, it was a long time ago, but there was some other twins that were in that house as well. <laughs> Towards the end, what happened was, uh, is one of them started taking control over what was going to happen, how they were going to resolve their situations when they're out there, how their life was going to be different, whereas the other one wanted to just be like, no, nah, let's just enjoy it while we're in here, we'll deal with it later. I think probably he's worrying too much about how the other person's reflecting on him and yes. just needs to concentrate on his own game. They've both been funny at some points, yeah. they've both been misery guts more often than not, probably. Yeah. Well, then, therefore, Kate, do you think maybe they'd be better as individual housemates? No. Jack is like, Jack is like your, your moodiness is going to reflect on me, and if people want me to stay and they want you out, then I'm going to go as well. I think so, it's a temporary thing. I think they'll go back to being almost exactly the same in a few days. Really? Uh, what yeah, do you, what do you think it's just think? a little bit... Fake. 
I've said this from the beginning. If the cameras were all off and they was in a normal house and there was a wasp, they would just brush it off. They're doing it. They, 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 are, they, are, they are over exaggerating everything because of the show. Oh, Emma, that was a genuine reaction. Hello, Hello. Hello. Um, that was a genuine reaction because, you know what I mean? I don't like anything flying around me. Although, you are. I feel like a wasp. Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing the colours. Um, OK, we saw Jack in the diary room kind of making his plea to stay. So do you think this is a ploy, Kate, to get viewers on side? So, you know, ignore what Joe's saying. Yeah. We really actually want to be here. I think he's really worried about what, how Joe is coming across and, like you said, how he's reflecting on Jack. So I think he's just trying to sort of save it and, make, you know, kind of go, it's OK, public, we are, we're OK, we know, we, we love being here. Yeah. So I think, yeah, he's trying to save you it. You don't want to come across as being ungrateful, do that? Because obviously no, this is a, a fantastic opportunity or whatever, but once you've experienced it nine weeks in, you're like thinking less about that, yeah. what a fantastic opportunity opportunity is and more about I'm going am home. I going to get yeah. booed are people going to receive me in a way that I want them to uh, is my time towards the end going to be spoiled by somebody else all of the people finishing before me yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> food's crazy about food aren't I want to take them for one when they come Aww. out because they are gagging for it um, okay let's see uh, how Joe is faring this morning when you think back to it and you realize how long you've been in here you can't help but think oh my summer's finished now. That's kind of what it is. It's as if I'm about to close a book, but it's, my, it's, a, it's a really good book. Do you know that like, you don't want to close, but you know you can't restart the book because the pages have already been burned? That was quite a good analogy, but that's how it feels at the moment. So I'm not particularly down. I'm a bit down on myself, but I'm not angry about the experience. I'm not negative about the experience. I'm just... I'm a bit... Con I'm very con self-conscious at the moment of not my image or anything, just my persona in the house and and everything I say and do, but I've told you that, and, and it annoys me when I ha say it again and again, because then it gets in my head again, and it's out of my head now, so... But that's just... That's where I'm at at the moment, and it's like, today's Wednesday, and in 24 hours it'll be a Thursday, and then in 48 it'll be Friday, and then Friday might be the day I leave. He's very good at maths, isn't he? Very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're right, Liam. You know, he's obviously worried about what people are thinking of him and his persona and everything. How difficult are those last five days? I think um, this shouldn't be too difficult. I, I, I think they've had influence by other people all the way through this series. It's been a new development for Big Brother in that their parents have come in and, and yeah. whispered messages. They've had letters. Every other week they've been getting a phone call off their best <laughs> mate. Or something. Like, I, I, think, I think they're probably going to go, well through the coded eye contact that I've had with my mother or, or whoever yeah. else that has come in, they've probably got a fair a middle idea of how they're genuinely perceived. For me personally, when I got to the last five days, I, I was very, very worried because I had no idea. I know it's not about me we're talking about this series, <laughs> but I was very worried. Would you have liked to have had that much input? Because they've had tweets as well tonight. I, half and half, I was asked the question earlier today, actually, and, I, and the way that I thought about it is I'm grateful that it wasn't like that now because because I've been able to build valuable life experiences because of that in, uh, isolated time spent away from the world, I guess. But to give you clues and, and a, probably a prompt as to what you can do to maybe make that last time in there a little bit better for you or, or to be perceived a little bit better, definitely it'd be any type of clue or yeah. any type of whisper or feeling. You definitely you lean all your energies on that because you're cut off from everything else. I think they're losing the plot, though. Out of Do all you? of them, they just seem to have, have lost it a bit, lost reality. <laughs> and realistically, you know, they're in a really good opportunity. They, you know, they've got 100 grand sitting within a week's time and he's yeah. whinging about, I want to go home. And realistically, you don't. You know, that's a lot of money. Get on with it. Enjoy Do you think, it. Do you think they're really thinking about the money, then? No. Yeah. It's got, surely I would be thinking about the money. You've got five yeah. I think they're not thinking about the money because they know they're not going to lose. And I think the one that's moaning all the time, Joe, knows they're not going to win. So I just think he wants to get out now and, and, and end it. I think his food greed has, uh, has started to affect his time. Isn't I'm not, I'm, it's not even a joke. Know, that sounds funny. But, but his constant need to get some kind of little bit extra food or a couple of bits of pizza or out to the thingy. I think all he can think about is I've just got to get out there to get the bed. <laughs> but, but, he's but the thing is, he's got tax, MOT, car, insurance, all of these things. That's the real world. You want to stand there with no mobile phone and the chances of 100 grand, like you say. Yeah, Chill out about money. it or you're going to find yourself <laughs> regretting that you've left when See, you See, the thing is, when Liam comes on, I never know how long he's going to talk for. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden, 
Jordan, he stops. And I go, OK, this is my chance to get in. And then he carries <laughs> on. Um, this yes. might be my only television oh, outtime. <laughs> Of tweets, much like friends and family noms, Charlie was once again in hot water for something that she didn't actually say <laughs> herself. Um, Kate, do you think Gina's reaction was fair? No, I think she needs to understand that Big Brother are playing them and that they shouldn't take it so seriously. It's to so out of context as well. So I think, but everything is totally heightened in there. So the yeah. tiny snippet of information they're going to dwell on for 24 hours. And I suppose it, it's doubly as hard because it's secrets and lies. So you're always yeah. second guessing what is the true truth. Is that really a tweet or is that something they've actually said yeah. and they're just saying it's a tweet? So as you said, Lee, they're Also, heads Gina likes to pick on someone. She did the Hazel thing where she had a go all the time and everyone was agreeing with But everyone was agreeing with that. <laughs> Everyone was agreeing with that, which was fine because you could see what was going on. But then Hazel went and now she's having a go at Charlie and then, and then that's gone wrong. She's now with Sophie. She is really bitcher. I wanted Gina to win, but the last week she's sort of showing true colours. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be looking ahead to the final with an insight from Dame Judy James. She's yeah. uh, got all the news from the latest twist, which, believe me, is going to be amazing. We'll see you very soon. The Robin to the main show's Batman, but without the cheesy lines. Holy welcome back, Link. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get it at all. Um, OK, this is our 63rd show, wow. so... I think you've probably had enough of exclusives, haven't you? No! I bet you have. No! I bet you have. You have, haven't you? No! All right, here's another one. I think mainly you get cheers. You know, you might... Not everyone's everyone's yeah, cup I just of tea. Feel, yeah, I'm come across well, like, and I just go get booed. I think you'll be all right, Sam. Mm. There will be ones that love you. I think you're brilliant and you're funny, and they'll understand your humour, and they'll respect you a lot, and they'll think you're admirable. Then you may have some people that don't appreciate you as much as some people do, or don't get you, or don't find your jokes funny, or. Um, don't necessarily how hard know even or understand how hard you've struggled with this. And there's all different types of people in the world. And I th just think you've got to remember the ones that do love you, just got to thank them and be grateful that they do love you. And the ones that don't, forget it. Wise words from Charlie. So, as the final edges ever closer, a new champ is waiting to be crowned. <laughs> Very late in that yeah. little ooh. Uh, with just a few days left to win over the voting public, how are the housemates upping their game? Well, here with all the answers is body language expert extraordinaire, Dame Judy James. <laughs> <laughs> so, in terms of how the housemates present themselves, how yes. critical is this final week? Oh, uh, this is the bit that I always call propaganda wars going on now. This, this is the main... I love this week. Right. Because they all start pitching directly to the public. I mean, they're not bothered with one another because they're not nominating anymore. And you get dreadful old cliches dragged out like old carcasses. Like, what do you I'm mean? On a journey. You know, they're all on a journey. I mean, I was on a journey on a 38 bus, but they're on <laughs> proper journeys, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, it's just, all the time now, if they picked up a jar of marmalade, it would be, well, you know, we can't afford this at home, actually, because we need the £100,000. Everything they're doing now is to get us to vote them for, to win. OK, let's talk about all the housemates. We'll start with Dexter. How is he pitching it to win? <laughs> He's just got this brilliant pitch. I don't think Dexter realises why we love him. I think he thinks it's because we think that he's a little sweet, fluffy thing. And so he's going very... Uh, he's doing humility at the moment. And tears. Who'd have thought... Who'd have thought he tears? He has a very good chin quiver. His chin qu Oh, he must have been practising that down I, the gym. No, getting I the believe muscle going. it, though. Do you? He's just, he just genuinely seems... When he is saved or when, you know, he's talking about how much people like him, I just believe that he just wants to be liked. He has onions on his fingertips so he can get little tears out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, let's that's have a, a look joke. at Dexter. I walked in a boy and I was arrogant and I've been an arsehole most of my life. Um, I think you guys taught, taught me to be better. So. 
I just want a chance. Oh, oh it's tears at the table. Yeah. Oh, bless him. I'd like to be here to done it, the whole thing, but in my mind, just being here for this week, mm. I've done it, so I think someone, someone else should get the ticket. had a little bit of snot dribbling, I think. Yeah. Which snot. means it was... Which means, you know when your eyes water and you get all emotional, it comes out of everywhere? Yeah. That's he's real, just, no? Uh, he's great, but honestly, if you'd have seen just before that bit, it's when he was listening to what was going to happen. The real Dexter, the one I really admire, is Gambler Dexter, and he went into this real focused face. He almost was unrecognisable. And that's when he was listening to the task, deciding what to do. But after he'd done the tears, I don't know if you noticed, he did a steepling gesture. Now, that's yeah. a gesture of power <gasps> and state and I think he may have suddenly realised how it's going to look and he had to kind of get rid of it. He stuffed it in his mouth. Did you see? Yes, I did. He's like, like, I mustn't look too powerful, so I'll look a bit cute instead. I, he's magnificent. You know, what, whether he's genuine or not, he's just been such a good player, I think. Uh, no, I'm full of admiration. OK, so um, let's move on to Charlie. How do you think she's handling that final push of the last few days? Well, Charlie has been on a journey, you know, all the way, all the time. She's just permanently on this journey. The journey. Well, it's, it's cyclical so is the trouble. It I just, do believe it. It goes in circles. If she was on a bus, she'd keep coming back to the same place. And all she keeps doing is she's on this groundhog day. She learns a bit. Oh, yes, yes, I mustn't do that anymore. And then she does what she did uh, the night before life. She, she falls out with Dexter. She goes stomping off into the toilets. And then we get the wonderful cliche, I can't stand being rejected and I'm, I fear not being loved. Do the rest of us love being rejected? She doesn't realise everybody feels like that. She thinks yeah. it's just her all the time. She needs to learn that actually we're all like that. Yeah. You know, just, just get out there and enjoy yourself, really. OK. Um, on to Tina. Uh, she's talked about her own journey earlier this week uh, with Dexter telling her that she has nailed it. <laughs> uh, it was a brilliant clip, actually. Let's have another look at it. No one knows what happens, why we are the way we are, and things that have happened in our life. No one knows everything, mm. and then they just judge you just because, oh, rich girl, rich boy, oh, they've got a happy life. No, you don't know what happens in their but it life. Isn't, it isn't all about being happy. I'm very, very proud of what you've achieved. Mm. Never, ever, ever doubt yourself, Gina. Mm. You came in here as you and mm. took it on the chin, which is a lot stronger than what I did, so be fucking proud of yourself. <laughs> Yeah. You'd be proud of you You'd actually proud of think that he was attacking her, if you saw. Gina's oh. got a real problem because, uh, you know, she's been telling us how rich she is all this time. So why should we give her that prize money? Yep. It would probably pay for one shoe on her foot. <laughs> and so what she's decided to do for her pitch, and you've got to love her for it, is that I might be rich, but it doesn't mean to say that I'm happy. You know, outcome... But I love the way Dexter then pitched for her. He kind of stood in there and said, yeah, you know, but you're great and this, that and the other. And I thought, why is he being so generous? Because he's actually helping her to win. But if you listen to his message, everything that he said about her also fitted him. So in a way, he was subliminally sending out the same, we're both the same, and this is why we both So they both have a have money a background. They've both kind of come in not so liked, coming out very well liked. Yeah. Right, OK. Uh, what about the twins? The, the, the you, unity, yes, that's right, um, seems to have dropped... Yeah, can I just say, by the way, the wasp thing, there was a physiological response there. Their little cheeks weren't quite pink, so I think most of that was quite genuine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But, no, I, 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 Joe, I think, is being totally honest, and I bless him for that. He's just tired, isn't he? Yeah. I think the problem with them is it's the first time I've seen one of them, Jack, go in the diary room by himself, so this is serious stuff. I think the problem is that Jack's had a kind of parental influence in Joe. Joe Joe's in lieu of parents in there for him. Right. But that means Joe hasn't got any parental influence. And with Hazel gone, who I think he loved, I think he's just missing his mum and dad. And I think now it's getting closer, yeah. and he's almost within touching distance. I think that's just sapping him and draining him a bit. He just wants to go him. home. I think he does, yeah. OK, and what about Sophie? What are you making <laughs> to her approach to the final? She's kind of just there, isn't she, really? I, I think Sophie... <laughs> Sophie, just there in a dressing gown, she's got so much going for her. 
And I think her big weakness at the moment is that she's sucking up to Gina. I mean, she keeps tittle-tattling to Gina. Um, she looks as though she's bitching with Gina. And I think, in a way, what we wanted was that dressing gown to come off and reveal this strong, feisty character. And it's not working with Gina, I don't think. So you would prefer her to be more of an individual rather than in this little pair at the end? Oh, yeah. Or, or just go and be nurturing with the twins or something like that. Yeah. It's not suiting her. She looks a bit sour okay. to be doing that. Uh, and finally, obviously, we've got Sam. Uh, we've got five days to go is he playing it any differently to how he's played it the whole way really no and, and i think he's quite right uh, his his pitch is that he wants to be a role model for deaf kids well i think he can sit back now because he's spent all of those weeks in there i won't say he hasn't put a foot wrong but he's done himself really proud and i think he's done nothing shameful um you know he, just sit there and see if you win there okay uh judy as always thank you very much <laughs> to come we take a good look at our girl from canning town sophie plus all the latest news from the house it's gonna be interesting don't go anywhere <laughs> as incisive and cutting as a pineapple slicing laser beam. <laughs> so, with the final insight, we're continuing our in-depth look at the remaining housemates. Last night it was Dexter, but who is it tonight? Well, she might call herself Moni, Whingy, Egged, but we simply call her Sophie, and here's her story so far. If Craig David could do all that in seven days, what could I do in 62? I like you, I think you're nice and you've got a problem with me. It's winding me up. We didn't ask you to do fuck all. I love you. Have you even had a champagne before? You've never had a bottle of mother. Yeah. <laughs> you look like an idiot. I've seen a clip by done that woman. A what? Am I having a laugh? 100% honey. I think that we should all go to Harrods. Family. He's so boring, it's like watching paint dry. Shut up, man! Are you trying to say I'm a pig? All right, Sophie, don't get bent out of shape. You're bugging me out, right? <laughs> Are you guys happy that she's made it this far? Yeah. No, I, I think she's planting seeds all the time. Yeah. And she's, she's doing her work, and then the other housemates are coming in, and she's not having to look bad on telly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyone please that she has stayed? Yes. Woo! I, <laughs> woo! Yes. I think she's very normal. Yeah. She's relatable. Boring. Yeah, yeah a little bit boring, but... She says she what she, she says. How, she says how it is, but gets away, it. gets away with it. She doesn't get into an argument over one oh, sentence. Baby. She gets away with it because she's not really being a bitch. She's just saying it what she thinks. Yeah, which she's is normal. A point across. Yes, but she just doesn't dig. She doesn't keep at it like Gina does. Yeah. Um, oh! Liam, has she kept you entertained over the summer? How long have I got? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't. She hasn't. <laughs> It never really matters with you because you just go on as long as you want. <laughs> I'll keep it concise. I got a bit no, jealous fine. of Judy there. She seemed to have like 10 minutes to she tell you. Uh, <laughs> can, I, uh, can I just say that she hasn't? She, and like you, like you said just then, she sits at the side, gives people the rope, lets them hang it, and then just stabs in. It's very good. It's very good. She's not very nice. I think the reason that she's had such ag, or egg as you said a minute ago, uh, was because she's, uh, she fancied that young lad, Sam. And, yeah! and, when, he, and, when, he, and when he said, and when he said uh, oh no, listen, I don't think we connect, i.e. your accent doesn't work in my ears, then she's took that as, oh, I thought we were getting along. And then now she's saying, but get the balls, I'm not bothered, I'm not bothered, you need to grow some balls. Quite a severe thing to say to a young lad that grows some balls, especially when there's people watching. You'll be thinking, whoa, if I'm acting like a softy here, then I don't want to come across like that. And unfortunately... Do you really think she fancies him? Absolutely, yeah. there's no doubt in mind. When she I'm was... still stuck on that bit. I'm like, really? Yeah, when they first yeah. were chosen to go into that house together and they got to pop the cork of Moet, or whatever she called it, <laughs> the, the, only, the only topic of conversation they had with one another was like a kind of flirt. And Sam's very good at that because he's a natural flirty lad. He's funny, makes little 
jokes about his winky and stuff. <laughs> and then when they ran out of that type of stuff, because he's obviously not feeling amorous towards her or whatever, I think he's indifferent. I think he likes her. She's fine, but she's not a big housemate. I think she's being bitchy, and if, and if she's going to keep being sneaky with people, then at least somebody needs to say, why. Hold on a second. Just because you're not arguing doesn't mean you're not being a knob. <laughs> well, the Sam and Sophie saga has kind of rumbled on throughout the whole series. Um, this week, they nominated each other again. Um, have you enjoyed the rivalry, Lee? Has it, has it kept you gripped? Oh, it's been really good with, with, with all of it. Um, I mean, rather between Hazel and Gina has been brilliant, um, and it's gone on now. And now Gina sort of sided with, uh, with Sophie, which is a really odd connection. I can't see that at all. Um, but I think Sophie was good at the start. She was quite quiet, and everyone thought she's got a good chance of winning. But as it's gone on, she's become more bitchy and not a nice yeah, person. Yeah. I think her true colours are coming through. As longer it's going on, the more people are not going to like her, and I don't think she's going to win it. Uh, what, what, what have you lot made of the whole Sophie and Sam thing? It's boring. It's, boring. it's just been going on for too long now and it's boring. I think Sophie's a bit jealous of Sam because the whole way through they've been the favourites to kind of get to the final and Sophie's been up for nomination a few times and Sam hasn't. So I do you it's... think she sees him as her main rival? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and you're a Sophie fan and you think that as well? Yeah, definitely. Oh. I, think, I think there was just something that wasn't quite right from the beginning and they never fixed it and they choose to... She, she's she's her only conflict. She definitely doesn't have his only yeah. conflict. <laughs> okay, okay, we've got some uh, regulars in tonight and they're having a little argument of their own. There is Daniel. no way, there is no way she fancies him. Yes, when, she does. Listen, listen, wait, wait, when he came in the house, her boyfriend, you could see the love. Yes. Yes. I don't care. No. 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 She don't have to always have sex in it, you know, love. Daniel, did you know that you were just about to take Gracie on? <laughs> <laughs> you should have thought about that. Also, Emma, 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 when the, um, when the boyfriend came not... in, I don't think he looked... I, I, I think he would come in and cuddle her. I think she blanked him. We were no, looking but she, at... she, couldn't, she couldn't move because she, she, she was paused. But you would. You would just cuddle them. All you get done, you would. You're not seeing the face. The twins were on pause and then did it. Liam, if what's it like? Come in, I'd be all over like a When you're in a task like that and it's about getting food and you have to do something and a loved one came in. I wouldn't give two toots. No, I'd embrace right. the loved one Absolutely. 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 You, Absolutely. You've got to prioritise, you know, yeah. this is a yeah, show and experience. Weeks and weeks. But if you see somebody who you genuinely love, who, who's a part of your actual life, not just the ten weeks you're in here or whatever, you're gonna, it's going to be very difficult to keep a straight face. I thought she was a little bit, because the twins, they got a chance to get a cuddle with. Yeah. Dexter yeah, connected she, with his mother yeah. through we, the eyes. We did see her quite was pissed very, afterwards, yeah, she was wasn't she? The that twins, they'd done it and she couldn't. Really seriously. Yeah. Yeah, and she was really cross with them, because they said they didn't hug and talk to the mum and dad, but they did. Yeah. It, yeah. it was like she was embarrassed, but... but you know, you want to overcome that embarrassment to be passionate about something, you know, everybody feels uncomfortable when, you know, she seems to, a lot she says, I'm not bothered when she feels like she's looking vulnerable or something like that. So maybe she was just feeling a bit, all attention's on me, I best not fail the task for everybody, but I thought she could have at least given him a nudge yeah, on the arm absolutely. and said, cheers for coming in, and now this <laughs> programme's about me. And I thought that... <laughs> Okay, before she went into the house, she gave herself one out of ten for shit stirring. Did she call it correctly, Kate? No. Add, a, add a zero to that one. <laughs> ten out of ten yeah. for stirring. I just want to give her a big spoon. That's all she's done ever since she's gone in the house. Stir, stir, stir. She's always like, did you hear what so and so said about you? Yeah. 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 It's true. You're dying to have a talk, aren't you? I don't think she does it on purpose. I think oh, she's. Oh, so oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Starter. She's so insecure that literally if she teams up with anyone who gives her a bit of attention, she'll say anything to them. Yeah. And that's what causes a problem. So she's I think she's she doing she it to deflect those, any just, attention away from I don't from think herself. she does it on purpose. She just is really insecure. You think it's insecurity? Come on, Hills. Daniel, where's your leg? What she does, she goes around to other people, she speaks in their ear, gives them the bullet and the gun, so let them shoot. Yeah. yeah. Um, she also gave herself 9 out of 10 for chances of winning. Is she right to be that confident, Liam? Absolutely not. <laughs> no way. Sam, for me, all the way now. Yeah. Um, I 
Okay. She would have got you guys on side now at the beginning of that round. Stop talking now! Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a go? No, no, no. Um, so, yeah, no, she's got, she's got more likely a one in ten chance of, uh, of winning. I don't think so. I think everybody can see what she's up to. Everybody can see what Dexter's up to, only knocking about with girls, whispering in ears. You know, there's got somebody... theories on all of them. Yeah, well, I mean, I watch it. I know. <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> Liam should just do this last link, I think. He should just take over the whole show. Could I? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Go. Right. Um, so, the final might be in sight now, but I can't read off that one and doing that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm doing more of it. <laughs> Can I come closer? Come on, come on with me. Whichever you like. I would also just like to say that earlier I ripped my trousers, so I've got to keep these covered. <laughs> so the final might be in sight, but we've still got some time to squeeze in a few more of these. Here's some exclusive action from the house. Yay! AJ or Rylan or anyone doing an announcement. And I we know it's Rylan's voice. Rylan. Yeah, are you, are you I'm not funny with the house maids, but can you please shut up? Oh, that would yeah. be amazing. Do not sing commercial oh. music at all. Yeah, like clean up the bedroom, you're all animals. Filth bags, Filth mate. bags. If what? I was living there, you'd have some serious problems. Why don't they get him to do that? That would be amazing. That would be hilarious, wouldn't do it? Do what? Oh, my Rylan. God. What, have you came in and called us filth bags again? No, no talk I mean, like, to He's good banter, like, he'll be hilarious. Oh, I love you, my You know, if he came on the, on the Tannoy, uh, speaker yeah. and, and uh, you know, said, this is Big Brother. I'll tell you. This is Rylan. Clean up your mess. You're all a mess. <laughs> oh, gosh, that'll be hilarious. I am once again phone alone. Uh, luckily, though... I'm hoping we've got some people on the line to have a little chat to. Uh, who's on line one? We've got Debbie from Newcastle. Debbie from Newcastle, are you there? Hi, Emma. Hey, Debbie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very good. What would you like to talk about? Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say best ever series ever. <gasps> ever, oh! ever. It's been very good, hasn't it? Fantastic. And reading all about the big twist today, it got goose pimples on me arm. Mm, I know, it's so very excited. exciting. But I'd like to talk about Charlie. Right. Um, Charlie the player, I call her. Ooh. Um, she played Callum first, which we all know. Right. And used the excuse of his fake VT as a put-off. Right. And then when she knew Dexter had feelings for her, um, she then loved, because she loved the attention, she constantly mentioned in the love triangle, which never existed. Right. There was never a love triangle. Okay. Um, but once Callum left... Um, but can I just remind everybody that she did nominate Callum. Yeah. And she also said in the diary room as well that she hoped Callum was the one that was going to leave on Friday. Right. After all of that, supposedly, you know, messing around with him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, with you. And, yeah, so yeah. it is. <laughs> and then it, Dex, then obviously it was Dexter that she was then playing up against. And it's all just, it, she just seeks attention from everybody. I mean, we're, we're also, as well, remember Sam. Poor Sam, lying on the sofa, stroking her hair and everything, right in front of Callum. Yeah. Um, just playing everybody in the house. But I think the reason why she's like that with Dexter now is because she knows Dexter an easy ride to get to the final because she knows how popular he's becoming with the public. Debbie? So I think, yeah? Are you Liam's sister? No. <laughs> well, yeah, both, I'm not. You both right. like a good old chat. <laughs> <laughs> can thank, you understand us all right? I can, yes, I can. Uh, thank you so much for calling. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. Who's next? We have Dave from Liverpool. Dave from Liverpool, are you there? Hi, I'm a... Hello, Dave, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really hoping Sam wins because from day one, he's been very genuine yep. and he came in... Obviously very nervous, I think, very self-conscious. And as time has gone on, you know, Callum has helped him originally. Yeah. And that's been great. And then Callum went. And then Jack and Joe have got really pally and have had such a, a, a great laugh. Yeah. And I just feel his confidence, his self-assurance, big brother giving him more to do. He's yeah. just grown. You said last week the way things change week by week. Yeah, yeah. He's come out so much and really 
the only problems he's had with two people, Dexter and Sophie, and the way he confronted them yeah. after being in that vanishing room. He went head on with them, didn't he? He, he didn't bitch. He didn't humiliate them. He said, I want to see you on a one-to-one. -one. And he's just been brilliant. And even now, with five days to go, you've got Dexter, Gina and Charlie still being bitchy, still playing the game, still being more devious and obnoxious. And there's Sam. He should be proud of himself and his family should be proud of him. And why shouldn't decent people win it? Yeah, he has been very consistent been as well the whole way. Yeah. It's been great, and uh, and I love the boys as well. They've helped yeah. him, you know. They have. They, they, I, I love them in the pool together. I just hope he's there. He'd love to win it, but I think he'd just love to be in the final, and I would love to see his eyes, you know, when he's... You can see he loves it, and he's genuine. There's nothing nasty about him, and his eyes just light up. And he, Emma... Big brother, if people have a go at reality TV shows, they should look and see what Big Brother has done to Sam. I hope it gives him the confidence on the outside. I love him. Yay! Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emma. Um, that's it. Time's up. I think that might have been Liam's liver puddly and uncle as well. <laughs> um, right, still to come, we've got the news. We've got all the news on the latest twist, which could be an absolute game changer. Uh, plus, Lee is going to be bringing us all the gossip from the reality gallery. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Big Brother's been on the side. Ah, there we go. I knew something was going to happen. <laughs> Hello? OMG! The studio's on fire! And the jelly babies! They're going to jump! Who's going to stop them? Help me, someone! Please, help me! Oh, 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 thank goodness! It's Ricky from the phone room. Phew, here's today's news. Nice. Um, at 11.24 this morning, Jack's mood in the house was worsened when he started to develop toothache and was convinced that his wisdom teeth were coming through. Luckily, the dental hygienist, Sophie, was on hand to diagnose the problem. I'm not sure if I've got an ear infection coming along. One of my wisdom oh. teeth has come in. I reckon it's 100% your wisdom tooth. Oh, yeah. you might have to go to the show dentist. Me, show but me. it feels like it's in the ear and it feels like it's outside the ear yeah. and it feels swollen. yeah. yeah. That can be your wisdom tooth. Come in, don't open your mouth. Put your tongue in. There's not a lot that can be done for an ear infection. You've got both wisdom teeth. All right, I might go upstairs and say I think I might have an ear infection. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, it's a good thing, because they're not stuck. It would have been fucked if you would have had to have it taken out. <laughs> her knowledge is sound, but I do think she needs to work on her bedside manner. At 6.57 this evening, Big Brother gathered all housemates in the living area for a very special announcement. This is Big Brother, Charlie, Dexter, Jack and Joe, and Sam. You are all nominated to face the public vote. One of you will be evicted on Friday. But Big Brother doesn't feel like waiting until Friday. Big Brother wants to see one of the four housemates facing eviction leave tonight. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm nervous now. Please, I can't have any boots, I want to just sit. Big Brother wants to pay off one housemate with cold, hard cash from the prize fund to leave the house this evening. Oh my flipping God. There's the I twist. It, just so There's the twist. twist. There's the twist, kids. Oh! A twist indeed. Big Brother then went on to explain that each housemate would have to choose an amount from a list and the housemate who chose the least amount would be the one to leave tonight. First up was Sam. Oh, I'm just trying to think. Well, I'm going to get one thing straight. I do not want to leave. Therefore, I'm going to pick a high number. I don't care about the money. 
I'm not here for money, I'm here to do for myself. And I'm here to raise, raise awareness for people who are out of here. So I'm going to pick the highest priority because that means I won't leave and I'm staying. After Sam came the turn of the twins, who of course are known to agree on absolutely everything. What one do you think, honestly? Honestly, I'm thinking of it from a Chesant point of view, and I'm thinking £95,000 is a lot of money. But do you even think if we actually left, we'd get that? Your secrets and lies. Big brother, we're definitely getting the money if we leave. Should we do it? Do it. Do it. What, this is it? Yeah. Yeah? You're undecided. Just oh my God, we are so shite with money, for God's sake. This is Big Brother. Jack, Joe, you do need to make a decision now. I know, sorry. It's bloody ours. Is the, is the money definitely ours? Or is it a secret? Secrets and lies. They're not going to tell us, Joe. Right, do you want to do 95? Or 96? Oh, sod it. Sod. But as the boys just pointed out, let's not forget, this is Secrets and Lies. And all may not be as it seems. Mm. If you want to find out what happened next, then head over to the website. But if you don't want to ruin it for yourselves, then you're just going to have to wait for the main show tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Exciting times, my friends. Exciting times. That's the next one today. Uh, okay, Lee should be in the reality gallery. Lee, are you there? I'm here. Hi, Emma. Hi, what's happening? Right, earlier today, uh, Dexter was talking about internet censorship, yeah. saying we don't want life to become like the minority report. Uh, Big Brother referred to Joe as Jack, which he was slightly miffed and went, <laughs> it's Joe! You would think after nine weeks they'd have pinned down which one was I know, which. Although even I can't tell the difference, to be honest. Um, Dexter and Joe have been chatting about the ladies. Dexter said he loves ladies in geek glasses. OK. Not it's on that look. one. It's a good look. Yeah. Gina discovered mould on her clothes. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, really? And she was not impressed. Yep, that was earlier today. She should give him a little wash then. Uh, it wouldn't hurt, would it? Although Dexter's been in that onesie the whole time. Yeah, he has, and he's um, only washed it once that uh, we've horrible, seen. Horrible, horrible. That's stink. Uh, Sophie said to Dexter she heard him grinding his teeth and it makes her cringe and her mouth water. Right. Uh, the housemates received their shopping and they were really excited by this. Yeah. Um, before the massive twist, housemates were told to get ready for speculation. They initially thought it was going to be an uh, eviction. Yeah. Uh, and then they thought a housemate was joining them, but it's a big twist coming up. Yeah. Uh, Sophie d didn't have time to have a shower today. She felt proper muggo. OK, on that note, we should probably leave it then. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Thanks. one more, I've got one more. Okay, Gina go, go, got go. really excited by the twist and thinks it's really fun. So we are. Tune in tomorrow because it yes. is a massive twist and I can't wait to watch it. Thank you, Lee. Cheers. See you later, oh, Let's Emma. give Lee a job as well. Uh, right, we've got 45 seconds. 45 seconds, yeah. OK. I'll start with hashtag Ask the HMs. Remember that hashtag because, yeah. as every week, uh, as we all know, uh, we want your questions for the nominated housemates, which we will ask them in the diary room. OK. The best questions, uh, we'll ask them and they'll be shown on the show. OK, wonderful. Sending the um, questions. For at BB Bots. Send them to at BB Bots. Um, oh, this big twist. Isn't it amazing? Oh, my God. goodness. Where I can't wait to see it all play out in full. Yes, and there's a there's something else coming up very soon. <gasps> oh. Mm. So um, make sure you stay tuned. Channel5.com forward slash Big Brother for all of the latest. It's going to be amazing. Thanks, Sorry, Ian Sam. One. I mean, no Ian Two. Oh, I get so confused. Yeah. Uh, right, that's your lot for tonight. Thanks to all my guests. I'll be back here tomorrow with Will Best, Zoe Tyler and Diane Newdale. Oh, and, and one more thing. Tomorrow we'll be taking a show in a completely new direction. How cryptic. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Hmm, emphasis oh, on yeah. one and direction. Mm. Good night. Mm, bye. <laughs>